Okay, some more awesomeness, some great buys, if you will. A, I guess we'll call this my anniversary presents to myself. Because, like I mentioned in my anniversary gift great buy video, we went to Niagara Falls on the U.S. side. And seeing as how we were in the U.S. side, one of the main things that Leslie wanted to do was go to stores, um, Walmarts, Targets, etc., 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 um, to try and find things we don't get up here in Canada um, to try them. So, yeah, if you, I don't know if we've been uploading them yet or if they are to come, but there are a slew of things that we purchased, pop, chips, and such, that um, we will be doing taste testing of to see if they are any good. Hopefully all four of us will be in all of the videos, but I don't think that's ever going to be the case. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, should be fun. So if you've seen some of those or you would love to see some of those, check them out. I'm sure they're around here somewhere or they will be coming. But this is all the stuff that I happened to pick up while I was out for myself that has nothing to do with taste testing. So one of the things that I um, was definitely looking for down there was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures that haven't been released up here in Canada um, because they essentially uh, stopped releasing new figures up here. Um, now, I do know that the latest stuff is called Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I have seen a DVD of Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles up here in Canada, but none of those figures have ever arrived here. So uh, I was looking for stuff like that, and I found a bunch at Walmart, but I only picked up one, that is the Lethal Robotic Foot Soldier. A lot of the tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys are a lot of repaints. Um, and this is essentially a mostly repaint um, of the... What was he called? I don't know. Robotic Foot Soldier or... Yeah, it was just Robotic Foot Soldier. So in the Robotic Foot Soldier, all these arm things, you know, added to arm pieces are all silver. Um, and I believe, yeah, the, the legs and stuff, I don't know if you can see here, the purple, they are, I believe, silver or gray or something like that on the actual original figure. Um, but I figured, you know what, even as a repaint, it's cool because it gives you another variation of it. Um, it gets me one of the Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They had two of the samurai figures um, from the Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. But they didn't have uh, Yosagi Yojimbo, um, which would have been awesome if I could have found that. I really, you know what, I should have hit up, we should have hit up a Toys R Us. I'm sure I would have found more at a Toys R Us. But outside of that guy and a couple of samurai turtles, there was... Other weird turtles of various uh, color combinations and, and get-ups, which I could have purchased. I probably could have gotten another five or six Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. But seeing as how this was the first store we, we hit up, I, I kind of didn't. I thought, I'll find the good stuff at another store. But unfortunately, I did not. I only found one other figure to get, and that was from Big Kmart, the Kmart. It was funny, when when we passed it, I was like, hey, there's a Kmart. Leslie was like, there, there, there's still Kmarts? She had thought they'd all closed down, but I managed to find an older series release there of Karai as the Serpent. Yes, I do not have this one yet, so I was happy to pick that up um, so I could add that to the collection. Um... So those were the only two figures I managed to find, even though one of the big things I was going to look for were Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Um, unfortunately, a little too late, I think. Uh, <laughs> um, didn't see any... Well, there were turtle figures at Target, but they were all stuff uh, um, I had seen either at the Walmart uh, or in, weren't in very good condition or I already had them. They were older figures. So, yeah. That was that. So, on to movies. So, this was... 
this was, believe it or not, this is from Topps Friendly Markets. Um, they had a little movie thing there, and for, I think it was 5 and $6, I picked up a couple of Blu-rays. So for $6, I picked up Adele Blanc Sec. This is uh, a Luc Besson film. Love Luc Besson. Love his stuff. And then I also picked up Mrs. Doubtfire. So two movies under $10, which I figured, you know what? Not a problem. I'm going to grab those. From the Kmart. Yes, I actually picked up something from the Kmart. This is a DVD set. It's one of those cheap comp movie compilation type things. It was $5. Up here we get we would get one of these discs. In the States you get two. Um, but I picked up this one. It's called uh, Dire Wolf with eight bonus movies. So it's got Dire Wolf. It's got The Eves, Moon of the Wolf, Monster in the Woods, Howling 4, The Original Nightmare, Dogman, Pelt, Werewolf in a Girl's Dormitory, and Call of the Yukon. So I think they're all wolf, werewolf-related films. And then, as an added bonus, I also got uh, Puppet Master 2. So, <laughs> Mill Creek releases, but whatever. For $5, I was buying it for this, and I figured, you know what, I'm going to get that as a bonus. Why not? I don't need it, but it's all good. And finally, a huge amount of pickups... I bought more than these. But these are from Walmart. And again, a lot of them are those compilation discs. Um, simply because a lot of, they had movies on them I had never heard of. Um, and these were... Uh, I think, were they all from the 374 bin? No, this is the $5 bin, $5 bin, $5 bin. Okay, so the first two are from the 374 bin. And one is the Horror Beyond the Grave movie Monster Movie Mix 12 Films. This one here. And Terror Beyond the Stars. There's the other side. Um, I have no idea what's on this. It, like, it doesn't say anything. But I figured, you know what? It turns out it's a, it's a $5 movie bin. Whatever, I picked it up. Um, then I've grabbed this one, uh, also from the 374 bin. It's a two uh, release thing. And it's a big box of horror, um, which is odd. So I don't know if this is, I'm guessing this is supposed to be sold together. I, I could be wrong, but one is 10 movies, the other is 10 movies. It says Big Box of Horror, 10 movies. Um, there's that one. It's two discs and that one. And then you'll see it says, you know, like Big Box of Horror um, on when you put them side by side. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be together as a single release. I don't know, right? Um, it does have the one UPC, so that is odd to have... Like, there's nothing, there's just shrink wrap holding these together. So, um, again, this is an Echo Bridge release. And then from the $5 bin, um, I had to pick this up. Uh, it said Corey Feldman, Edward Furlong, Seven Souls, Seven Steps, Seven Days to Hell, The Zombie King. Um, yeah, I have, I've never heard of it, but I had to get it. Uh, another one of these multi compilation things we've got um again it's the same type of deal where the the spines match up this is called epicenter the destruction is endless includes seven bonus movies um includes eight eight movies over 10 hours um and the funny thing is is i think i've seen this one the single one release here in canada but apparently it's supposed to be two discs so this has got Slipstream, um, Epicenter, obviously, Fire From Below, Escape From Alaska, The Chain Reaction, To Survive, Militia, and The Day the Sky Exploded. So it's some natural disaster type films. And then also from the $5 bin, we've got the Horror Collection 10 Movies, which I just love the covers that they put on these things. This has got Descendant, the Legend of Sorrow Creek, Seven Nights of Darkness, 
Empty Rooms, 976 Evil Part 2, Midnight's Child, Hurt the Cry, Bay Coven, and The Cellar Door. Um, some of these I've never even heard of, nor have I heard of the company that they obtained them from, but... That's kind of the reason why you pick these things up, right? And then finally from the $5 bin, I picked up all three of those releases. Salem's Lot, Cat's Eye, and It. I think I may already have two of these three, but I couldn't remember which one. I know I have one at least. I don't know which one either. Um, but I figured, you know what, for the price, I'm just going to get all three. Um, be safe, because I know I have not seen them up here um, since essentially, not even during release day, release week, I really hadn't seen anything up here. Um, like I said, I did manage to find one. Um, so, yeah, I, I, honestly, I saw, I think I saw Cat's Eye, and I was like, oh, I should get that. And then I saw Salem's Lot. I was like, oh, I, you know, like, I know I have one. I may have two, but there's three of them. Um... And I kind of went back and forth, um, actually in the store, back and forth, uh, like to where Leslie had gone off to and to where I was coming back. The first cats I had found wasn't in great condition. I was like, ah, oh, you know what, I'm going to go get it, but I want a better condition. When That's when I saw Salem's Lot, and I was like, hmm, maybe I should get two of them. And while I saw Salem's Lot and got the other thing of cats, I was like, I'm going to dig around, see if I can actually see the third film. And that's because I couldn't even remember what it was. And that's when I found it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get them. I decided, boom, done. So, yeah, lots of interesting watching to be had, I'm sure. Um, but uh, yeah, doesn't matter which ones you look at. It's all a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. You be the judge. There you go. Would you have bought all these cheap? I, you know what? There are. I know there are some out of you out there who buy all of them, and honestly, I I I probably should because the you know the covers are pretty cool. Um, but I just like who, who can release something like this? It's got twelve films. We're just not going to tell you what they are. Like, yeah, I I don't get it. I don't get it. Ten films. Yes, they're all the same film. Oh. <laughs> but whatever. Anyways, yes, it's uh, yeah, it was a good trip. It was good fun. I I spent too much money, and I probably could have bought a lot more. But honestly, I was expecting I was expecting better deals. I was hoping for better deals in the movie section. Um, but you know what I was finding. I was finding the prices were either more expensive or the same price as we have up here in Canada, um, whether, you know, from Target, Walmart, uh, Kmart, or else did we look? Tops Friendly Market, like I said. Um, I don't know. Did we go anywhere else? I don't know. We went, I know we went somewhere else. We had to have gone somewhere else. Um, I don't know if they had any movies, though. Yeah, we went to a bunch of other stores, but I don't think they had any movies. Um, no, we did. There were a couple of... We went to Dollar Tree and some other dollar store type thingies. Um, but honestly, the prices weren't anything great. Um, I will say that the selection in the Walmart was like two to three times more than what they are in most of the stores here. Um, but... They were still, like I said, they were, they were pretty much on par, if not more expensive than most of the stuff. And outside of these, you know, like these ones, these $5 dump bins, um, there wasn't a lot that was different. I picked up ones that I had not seen before. Um, but, yeah, and, I mean, we, I know they've been up here. I don't, I think they were $10 or something when they were up here. Um... Which is fine. I don't have a problem with $10 for a Blu-ray. But I, it was hard to find. Like, I could not find them. They were... I guess nobody really stocked them. But I had, I had heard many, many times of people 
all about the Walmart dump bin. Walmart dump bin, that's where to find these. So, Walmart dump bin, that's where I found them. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, I just, yeah, I, was, I, I just wish there had been something more, something different. I was looking for something different. Yeah, not a lot. There were some different toys, though. They are very different toys. Stuff I had never seen before. I'd never even heard of some of them. Um, and I guess that's what happens when you don't you don't have cable and you don't see the toy commercials anymore. Um, because I do know that often, you know, we would see toy commercials here and uh, we wouldn't be able to get them because they were only available in the States. But, uh, yeah. Of course, television is a lot different now. A lot of our commercials are only Canada because they filter those out. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Good trip. Got some stuff. Spent too much money. Didn't see anybody I knew. But I did see the falls. And the falls are awesome. And I saw them from the U.S. side. Never done that before. And it's been like 30 years since I saw them from the Canadian side anyways. Went on the boat. Went on the Made in the Mist thing. It was awesome. It was, yeah, I, I would actually, I'd, I'd want to do it again, because it was a lot of fun. Um, I probably want to go up to the, to the front of the boat, um, even though you, you see everything from anywhere, the, the, the falls are huge, but yeah, there, honestly, there is no, it's amazing, there is so much stuff to do on the Canadian side of the falls, there is very little to do on the American side of the falls, but at the same time, we only stayed over one night. But at the same time, we didn't get to see everything on the American side of the falls. There is a lot of stuff I would like to go back and do um, and check out some of the parks, some of the things, and actually, you know, do a full walk around and, and such um, on the American side. Um, but that's for another day, perhaps, in another 40 years. <laughs> Anyways... Thanks for watching. Uh, this has gone on for a little bit too long, so hopefully you stuck with it. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.